Good morning, coffee lovers. Damien here from Depache Coffee Company. I'm here in the glorious Roselands head office as usual, and we're here to unveil an exciting, exciting young shockwaves through the coffee world is Mark Conning's home grinder, the X54. So Mark Conning are known for their you know, great grinders, the GBW, the E80 Supreme, and the EK43s, of course. But now they're combining their 100 years of German experience in grind making for their new home model. Yeah. So today we're going to unbox this little beauty and we're going to pull it through its paces and we're going to see all the benefits and um, let's have a look at everything that it can do. Look at that. Thank you and enjoy your coffee. Oh. So, ooh. so it's got this wonderful design. It's got that nice black finish that you see in the other Marconing uh, models. Um, we've got a nice dosing cup here which is, uh, look, could even use it as a keep cup, that one. Um, and uh, obviously we've got the little, at the bottom there, and then we've got the hopper. This hopper's great because it has the safety feature of, um, you know, you don't get any power to the screen if it's not locked on. So it goes in like that, and then lock on. Yeah, so that's nice and secure now. So it comes with these two accessories here. So the first one is the ladle, that holds the porta filter, and it's just a matter of disengaging this little button here on the side, and that just goes in, flicks in, okay? And then if I don't want a porta filter, if I want to dose straight into a dosing cup, I just interchange that, and then I can do that, and that's easy. A very good feature, I really like that, all right? Okay, so let's turn this guy on and let's see what it can do, yeah? So, its claim is that it can go all the way from, uh, you know, plunger, percolator, aeropress, V60 dripper, all the way down to espresso. We'll take it through its paces and we're gonna have a really close look at what it does. Um, the thing that I like probably the most off the bat is, um, is the display. So, we're gonna have a really close look at all the functions and everything that it does. Yes, yeah, so Mark Conning uh, have uh, claimed that this motor is as durable as they come with 25,000 shots. That's, you know, based on one coffee a day, that is 68 years worth of grinder. That, it's an amazing claim. Um, one of their other claims is that um, it's very quiet. So we're gonna test that in a sec. Yeah, so 54 mil flat burrs, uh, special steel, 35 adjustable stepless uh, adjustments. And we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna, you know, grind some coffee and we're gonna see what we can do with it. I wanna play with the screen. I wanna see what that does. And we're gonna talk you through that now. So it's got four grinding modes. Okay, so one, it's just a matter of going to the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. So it's got, and then it's got a manual mode as well. Yeah, so we've got an on and off switch here, start and stop. You can see a little finger there, so that, that's manual mode, yeah? So when I engage that little switch now, okay, I'm gonna get grind. Okay, but then I've got the presets. Okay, so six seconds, 30 seconds, 17.9, and 10. Now I can change those, all I have to do is hold that down for three seconds then I can add some time to that, okay? But I'm happy with the way they are. Okay, now, let's grind some coffee. Yeah, so straight away, I really love the snugness of this holder. That portafilter sits in there really nicely. So as soon as I engage that little switch at the back, it's gonna start pouring, or grinding manually, yeah? So I wanna use the, seven, the second, the program, 17.9, I'm gonna press start. So it's pretty quiet, you know. And then we'll continue the, the rest of that cycle. I had that on espresso or, or very close to the finest grind. So what I want to do now is I want to play with the grind adjustment and I want to see it, you know, go from espresso to, you know, aeropress and, and then percolator plunger. So I'll take off this little ladle and we're going to go to the dosing. Okay, so I'm going to push that up. That's the fight. That's the, the coarsest grind. Okay. Uh, 
and then we can go and let's drop it, drop it to about midway now. So you can see, it's nice. It's pretty instantaneous. I don't mind that. A bit messy when I did grind that coarser grind. You know, it does make a bit of a mess there. The last preset is this little Wi-Fi icon. Now I picked that up on my phone, but Mark Conning have, haven't developed the app yet, but I'd imagine in the future, you'd be able to control this grinder from your phone and do some amazing things with it. Again, that is another feature to look forward to. So what we're gonna do now is check its retention. Yeah, so what I've got here is 21 grams of coffee beans, and I wanna see what comes out now. There's a bit of popcorning there. And now we've got an empty, empty grinder. All right. And let's weigh this now. So we lost about four grams on that. So I'm gonna do this three times. I'm gonna, I wanna see if I get a good average there. Yeah? Um, so again, 21 grams in. All right. On that one, I've got 20.1, so that's not bad, you know, I only lost a gram with that one. Let's do it for the final time. We've got 21 grams again, whoop. Hang on a second, we've got to make that perfect. Look at that. So final time. So the first time we were off about, what, six or seven grams? Four grams? Now last one we are off about a gram. Let's see how we go for the final time. Not bad, not bad. So we got 0.1 of a gram probably from the previous grind, but that's smack on. So it got better as we, you know, did more shots, so okay. All in all, this grind is pretty amazing, you know. It is quiet, it has got the interchangeable ladle at the front, it has got the stepless and you can go from, you know, different grind settings. The only negative thing I might say is this dial seems a bit plasticky for lack of a better word. Um, and also you can calibrate this. If you go on the Mark Connings website, this does get pushed out. You can recalibrate this and you can play with the dial. Um, I love the preset features, the Wi-Fi when that is introduced, what's gonna happen with that, but the whole look of the machine. I love the, the finish of the steel, the paint, the matte black, beautiful grinder. I don't know where it's gonna sit in, in, in terms of, you know, it's competition, you know, as a Mazda Mini E, around a thousand dollar mark in Australia. It probably would sell for about 12 or $1,300. Let's find out. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the little review, preview, whatever you call it. Thanks guys. <laughs>